my name is Megan. Today some friends and I are going to show you some of the exhibits at the new Ford Theater Center for Education and Leadership. It's all about Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president. Here you'll learn what happened after Lincoln died, how his ideas live on today, and how we can all be more like Lincoln. Let's get started. We begin the morning of April 15, 1865. Abraham Lincoln has just died, and the news is making its way around the world. Bree will show you where we first stop. We enter the exhibit on a Washington street. The dirt roads are wet from rain, and puddles collect beneath your feet. You can hear the distant tap-tap of telegraph machines. Up ahead, you can see a replica of the funeral car that carried Lincoln's casket through 180 cities and seven states on its way back to Lincoln's home in Illinois. This journey retraces the route Lincoln traveled into Washington as president-elect. 12 million Americans paid their last respects to the president as they saw the train pass by. Inside the funeral car, we can see memorial ribbons and cards, a funeral invitation, and fringe and tassels from Lincoln's coffin. Being here, I sense the immense feeling of loss Americans felt because of the president's death. The country had suffered through four years of a bloody and brutal civil war and was now facing the loss of the leader who had gotten them through it. Out of this tremendous grief emerged the legacy of Lincoln, establishing him as the icon we know today. Along with the feeling of loss came the need to bring Lincoln's assassin to justice. Trey will now take you through the manhunt section of the tour. When we leave Lincoln's funeral train, we travel with the assassin John Wilkes Booth and his accomplice David Harold on their escape out of Washington. An interactive map shows the stops that Booth and Harold made on their trek through the woods and swamps of Maryland and Virginia. Here, you can learn about their visit to the home of Dr. Samuel Mudd, who tended to Booth's leg, and about their dangerous boat ride on the Potomac River. We eventually end up at Garrett's farm, where Booth was captured, where we can witness some of the drama that night. The figure of John Wilkes Booth can be seen through the barn's wooden slats, and we can hear some of the shouts of Booth and his captors. While heading towards the stairs to the third floor, we catch our first glimpse of Lincoln's book tower. More on that later. I'm Najee, and I'm here to take you through one of the most interesting aspects of Abraham Lincoln's legacy, his status as a pop culture icon. Abraham Lincoln is such a beloved and trusted figure that his image has not only been immortalized on the penny, but also by the popular toy Lincoln Logs, on Ked sneakers, and even jewelry. I had no idea that Abraham Lincoln appeared as a character in so many TV shows and movies, including Family Guy, Star Trek, and the Muppets. One part of this exhibit that is really cool is a comic that in 2009 was turned into a digital comic to celebrate the bicentennial of Lincoln's birth. In it, Spider-Man and Captain America travel back in time to witness Abraham Lincoln give his famous Gettysburg Address. How awesome would that have been? Now, Noel will show you onto one of the unique exhibits in the center. One of my favorite exhibits in the center is the video wall, titled The Unfinished Work. This video exhibit features a remix of some of Lincoln's most famous speeches brought to life by people of all ages. This video captures Lincoln's spirit and highlights what an amazing and prolific speaker he was. Each line in the video comes from a different Lincoln speech. When sewn together, they show how powerful his ideas were and how they still resonate. Even now, we still fight for the principles he stood for. This video helped me grasp why Lincoln was so significant in his time and why he is still so important today. We end our tour at the base of the Lincoln Book Tower. This massive 34 foot tall tower features more than 6,800 replicas of books about Lincoln. Over 16,000 titles have been written about Lincoln. So this tower represents just a fraction of them. There's no other structure like it in DC. We hope you have enjoyed your brief peek into the Ford Theater Center for Education and Leadership. To find out more, please visit our website at www.fords.org. We hope you'll plan a visit to see for yourself where Lincoln's legacy lives.